In this tutorial, we will teach you how to work with the Advanced Layer options in Photoshop CS5. If you have a number of layers opened up, and it's getting a little messy, and you wish to reduce the layers, then you can group layers. For that, select the layers you want to group together, go to the Layer menu, and click on Group Layers. The other way to do that is to select all the layers you want and drag them to create the New Group button at the bottom of the layer panel. The keyboard shortcut for this is by pressing Ctrl G. If you want to ungroup the layers, all you have to do is go on the layer and click on the Ungroup Layers option. The keyboard shortcut for this is Ctrl Shift G. Merging layers comes in handy when you have to apply the same effect to many layers. However, when you merge layers, this step cannot be undone. The merged layer acts as an image, and once you have understood this potential risk, you can be more careful while merging your layers. To merge a layer, you need to make sure the layers you want to merge are on top of each other. Click on the top layer out of the two that you want to merge. Go to the drop-down menu on the Layers panel, and then select the Merge Down option. The keyboard shortcut for this is Ctrl E. You can see that the two layers merge. The Flatten command converts all the visible layers that you have on your document into a single layer. This command is typically discouraged by all Photoshop experts, as it deletes all your layers and converts them into one. This way you cannot make changes to any layer separately. To apply this command, click on the Flyout menu in the Layers panel and then select the Flatten Image option. Photoshop at times pops up a dialog box to ask if you want to discard the hidden layers as they get deleted when you apply this command. All your layers now have been flattened into one layer. As you can see, they can't be worked on separately. The easier and safer way to get a flattened image that you may want to use in some other program or software is to simply use the Save As command. You can save this document as a copy in JPEG or PNG format. This gets rid of all the layers and saves it as one image, but does not delete the layers that you have worked on.